what is going on? Okay, today we're gonna have a little practice. Um, first of all, I just wanna give a shout out to, whoop, straight check. I wanna give a shout out to George from Cyprus. Man, you got yourself a table, and I, I cannot say congratulations enough, man. Totally happy for you. I am so sorry they got gypped on the rails, though, on the uh, alligator skin. That's crap. I hope they make that right for you, brother. So congratulations on a new table. Um, but something I've been watching here lately, and it's with uh, Mudslide Mac, one of the pillars in our community, um, how he has been able to, you know, he'll throw the dice down, he'll make a point, he needs a number, and how he can kind of, you know, manipulate the dice, and then, and then the, the stuff barely even hops, and he's got his number. It's just fascinating to watch. So guys, what I want to try to do today, I'm gonna practice a little bit of sharpshooting and see if we can come up with the same results. So, no guarantees, but I wanna practice this, see how we can do it. Let's try some sharpshooting. I love you guys. Let's do this. Okay guys, so here we go. We're going to start this test. Um, today I'm gonna to be shooting in both directions. So I'll shoot down this way, set up the dice, and I'll shoot back this way. Um, it's kind of fun for me, I like to shoot I like to shoot from different parts of the table anyway just to kind of get some practice in um, see what all happens I'll go with the fives you know question also for you guys when you are picking dice out of the dice lineup when the uh, croupier hands you the dice do you guys usually look for certain combinations uh, whether it be two fives two sixes two threes two twos or whatever or just do you not even care do you just pick up a couple and you know because you're gonna dice it anyway um, I'm curious, what do you guys do? Uh, let's just make a point and go from there today. I guess that was about uh, as high up as I should be shooting. That was a rainbow. I'm gonna start with the 639. So with nine being our point, if I wanna try and sharpshoot that nine, um, for me lately, what I would do is my inside killer, the 6554, but Let's try something. Let's try a four, five, five, four. Four, five, five, four. Let's see if we can shoot this, uh, get this nine. The important thing is, is to try and repeat your mechanic. Uh, that's gonna be a two, one, three. If you can repeat mechanic, that is, repeat your grip, the strength of your throw, the landing zone of your toss, the arc of your toss. Repeat as much as you can to try and replicate, duplicate results. Four, five, five, four. Let's see what we got here. Gonna hit with a whoop, 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 whoop. That kind of hit with a thud. Okay, let's make another point. Six to eight is going to be our point. Uh, you know, sometimes. Um, setting the dice to your set to your combination won't make a lot of sense and i get that um, i mean sometimes it does like uh, typically somebody would say i want an eight so what i'm going to do is set the two six six two or something like that uh, two six six two so i can get an eight or i set for hard or like hard hardy somewhere of hard fours maybe a combination to hit the eight for you, for your throw style, for your grip. Uh, maybe because when you release, maybe you often release at an angle, and when they hit, they just kind of come off axis, and that's just your normal thing. So why I think this is so important to practice your sharpshooting skills is you can get more information out of what your throw is doing, and than any other way. Just about, you know, you can learn what your mechanics are so much by trying to sharpshoot. What I'm going to do is start with a three, five, six, two. Sounds weird, right? 
Sounds really weird. And it's dangerous. There's a seven right there on the side just staring me in the face. But I more often than not pitch this direction. Look at that. There's that there's that eight. We have other options as well. If this one pitches over, I keep that on axis, there's another heart eight. It's up to you to learn how the mechanic will work with your throw. Well, I can't now I can't remember what I decided I was gonna use. Three, five, six, two. Let's try it. Let's just see what we do. Looking for that eight. Two, one, three. Now to me, that's very close. I got my two. I wanted that two, but this one had a couple extra rotations. Ended up being a one. But I did get my two. So let me try that again. Three, five, six, two. Skadoosh, mother grabber. Sometimes the combinations that make no sense, no sense at all, is exactly what you need to do. Sometimes they make perfect sense. That's a uh, 516. I feel so bad for George. I mean, first of all, anybody that has ever watched George, his videos, knows that he's just a really good guy. He, he, he certainly appears to just be one heck of a, he, he's one stand-up dude, a good guy, just feel real, real bad for him. Um, man, I hope that you get that table working out for you, okay? Okay. Let's try this. I just let's see if we can get the six. And the four. Let's try it. Two, four, two, six. It all has to do with the, the the mechanics of your throw and you learning what your specific dice might do or might not do. Boy, those just hit and stop. That is a three and a two. Yes, I would be getting a warning right now. They'd say, uh, you know, make ender, you know, little remarks about me not being strong enough to hit the back wall. I don't care. Let's try the four two two. I'm going to do that though. 4226. Yeah, 4226. Because I know I often get some shaking and baking going around on this table. If this was a harder surface ta table, I'd probably play this more legit. Boy, those had a dead on path to the wall. Those hit and just went dead on straight. So we start with a four two two six. And that's what we got. So oops. So let's try that one more time. Four two two six. Trying to hit that six. shooting I, I look I'm not saying that it's easy it's not I'm not and I'm, I'm not saying that I can do this all the time I play I can't 
I, I tell you, I can't. Focus on what you're doing. Repeat your mechanic. Take your time. Learn the mechanic of your throw and how to adjust a pitch here, a pitch there. Learn how to adjust. And your, your throw, you can do it. It takes practice, a lot of practice, a lot of work and patience. guys I'm wasting time here I know I'm trying to two four four two two four four six let's try that two four four six being guys practice sharpshooting when you practice sharpshooting and you pay attention to what your dice are doing you can repeat and do what you get do what you need to do practice record learn and adjust tomorrow if I were to do this exact same thing tomorrow, I'd probably get completely different results. You have to be ready to adjust. If, if a set is working for you one day, you have to be ready to make alterations, change things. The table, is it harder or softer? Are you in a different position? Are, do you have not so far to go? Or do you, are, are you, all of a sudden are you standing at the end of the table and then you have further to go? A lot of factors will determine what this dice set will need to be for you to sharpshoot your numbers. Takes practice, diligence, and hard work, guys. George, good luck with your table. 36 full press. I'm loving that blender system, and I'm looking forward to doing a head-to-head -head battle. I love you guys. Welcome to my new members. Keep it coming. I love you guys. CP is out. Keep practicing. Well, then they just need to now, don't they? <laughs>